Today's event is all about celebrating the new nursing associate role and are celebrating the uh, commitment that we'll, they'll be able to make as nursing associates in the future. I see them as people who are already demonstrating the, the values of the NHS constitution. I think they've got care, commitment, and dare I say kindness, already embedded in what they're delivering to our patients today. So the Nursing Associate Programme of Work is key to transforming our nursing workforce. This is a fundamental role that we are putting into the nursing workforce to enable people to progress from a care certificate through to a nursing associate. And once people become a nursing associate, we'll create opportunities for them to progress into registered nurse positions if that is what they want to do. For me, the benefits of the nursing associate role to, to, to the NHS and, to the, and to, to the public in general is around the two-year programme and the, the breadth of experience that they're going to obtain during the two-year programme. My main um, sort of come away point with, with the students on this programme is that their, their enthusiasm. They, I think they appreciate the chance to improve the quality of care they give to patients and at the same time improve their own lifestyles. There's a gap our students have identified when they come for interview that actually they are frustrated. They see lots of work they can do that the nurses are too busy doing or they haven't got the capacity. So actually it means that we have qualified band fours who can actually step up and bridge that gap between a healthcare assistant and a qualified nurse. Obviously there's not much progression from becoming from a HCA unless you go to do your nursing, but doing this course has made me able to work full time and become a nursing associate at the end and progress within where I work now. It's wonderful today to actually see so many nursing associates from the first cohort. These are the trailblazers who are coming together in such large numbers with such enthusiasm to actually demonstrate the decision to make this role one of its own was right. We've learned a lot of great ideas from them that we could use to improve uh, work certainly within a trust but right across the partnership and I think it's fair to say we're getting a better sense really of how we can develop our workforce in line with what our patients and our, our populations need. From the very start it was a very quick process the growth of the TNA it's been um, a very much a professional growth as well as a personal growth so they've really taken a step from being a healthcare assistant into a potentially registered role. What benefit will it bring? Again, it is about for the group of nursing associates that we've put forward, they're already coming in with experience in their field. From a national perspective, it's raising the profile of nursing profession. This is a great, great opportunity to value them. I think for me, sharing innovation and best practice is all about bringing people together and celebrate those people that have really gone out on a limb to do something different. There are a group of fantastic trainees carrying out the skills and competencies of a workforce that needs to be regulated across health and care and that's superb. And that gives the public and them confidence about the standards that they should practice to. It's an absolutely superb programme. We've got 30 um, TNAs. They're huge amounts of energy, huge amounts of motivation. They're enthused and want to progress in their career. And it's just a pleasure to work with local people. I think today has been about celebrating and showcasing what we have achieved so far, the successes, but also recognising the challenges that lay ahead and how we are, as a team, going to be able to deal with those challenges whilst ensuring that the patient is at the heart of everything we do.